name is Vasilia, and I'm a Beitna Hub facilitator for the Athens Comics Library. I'm also a storyteller. If you've seen the rest of my videos, you'd know. Now, my wooden box is still on lockdown at the library, but I've got my own magic box, and I've got my stories. Are you ready? Are you ready to hear another story? Well, this story is about a boy. That boy has a curse. That boy, that boy has a gift and he also has shh, a secret. Once upon a time, there lived a boy and his curse was that he was a hunchback. His gift was his voice. He had the most beautiful melodic voice. And his secret was that he was in love. He was in love with the daughter of the wealthiest man in his town. And that man, that cruel, wealthy man, found out. Who do you think you are? Laying your hand, your eyes upon my daughter, singing to her every day. Now the girl was really sad. You know, she really liked him, his voice, he was kind. You are not going to go near my daughter again. You're not going to marry her. But, but I love her, the boy said. Well, I don't care if you love her. If you want to marry her, you have to do two things. You have to lose your hands back. And you have to have a bag full with golden coins and all this in three days. <gasps> the boy was heartbroken. <laughs> Lose his handbag and make a ton of money in three days? That was impossible, but he tried. His job was to sell baskets. So he made as many baskets as he could and he went from town to town to sell them and make money and as he was moving, he was thinking of his beloved. But selling baskets does not make a lot of money. No matter how many baskets he sold, he still didn't have enough. And he still had his hands back. And the day was over. Two more days were left. He took the rest of his baskets and he went back home. But it was already too late. And that night, he slept to the woods. slept under a tree and at the dead of the night he heard voices, he heard laughter and he heard songs and he got up and he saw weird creatures that were tall and small and they all had pointy ears and they were singing a tune, a song. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Again, and again, and again, and again. And they had beautiful voices, like mine. But the boy soon, he grew tired of the song and said, maybe... Maybe I can add some lyrics. So he waited and he listened. And when it was time, when it was the right time, he sang. And as these weird creatures, they were singing Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday comes and Friday too. Thursday comes and Friday too. The boy asked 
more days and that sinking stops and those creatures they come close who are you who are you to interrupt the ancient song of our forefathers I, I, I'm sorry I just I thought it was boring and you know there, there are more days in the week so I thought maybe maybe I could add some more add some more? The boy was terrified. Oh my god, these weird creatures. What were they going to do to him? And they came closer and closer and closer. And the boy closed his eyes when he heard. That was beautiful! This is the best thing we've ever heard! Oh my god, this is so good! We've never heard such a good song! Thank you! Thank you so much! Let's sing it again! And all together they sang Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday Thursday comes and Friday too Thursday comes and Friday too And they sing all night long They are so happy and they pat his back and then they ask him, what can we give you? You gave us the gift of music. What can we give back? And the boy said, well, I've, I've always been a hunchback. If you could just say no more, those elves said. And they said some magic words. And they did some magic. And... <gasps> His hunchback was gone, and he was straight like a candle. And for the first time in his life, he could look up and he thanked, thanked those elves. But they threw some fairy dust on him, and he fell asleep before he could say thank you. So the next day, when he woke up, he just straightened his back just to make sure it wasn't a dream. And he said, well, I have to stay and thank them. This is the best gift that anybody has done for me. So he stayed that night. And in the dark of the night, he heard the song. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday comes and Friday too. Thursday comes and Friday too. And the boy listens and waits. And when it's time, he adds two more days. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday comes and Friday too. Thursday comes and Friday too. Saturday the Sunday, end of the week. Saturday and Sunday, end of the week. <laughs> and the elves hear that and they come. Oh, it isn't our good friend. Welcome, welcome our best friend. How are you? How can you be so amazing? Even more words for us, for this amazing song you made for us. Oh, thank you so much. And they hugged him and they kissed him and they sang all night again and again this song. And then they stopped and asked him, what can we do for you? And the boy said, well, you know, I don't give any value to money, but I have a problem. And he explained everything. He said about the girl, about her father, and the money he had to have. And the elves looked at each other. Well, usually, we don't give money. But for you, our best songwriter, we are going to do this. And they said some magic words. And they threw some magic dust. They gave him 
a bag filled with golden coins. There you are. Go marry your girl. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just let's sing one last time, the elf said. And they sang all together. Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday comes and Friday too. Thursday comes and Friday too. Saturday and Sunday, end of the week. Saturday and Sunday, end of the week. And the boy thanked the elves and took the money and he ran back just in time. And he presented the money he had made. As for his hatchback, well, he was straight like a candle and the girl couldn't be more happy. <laughs> she really liked him before, but now, and now he was such a handsome young man. <laughs> and that wealthy, cruel man had nothing to say. <laughs> he had more money than him now. So he gave his blessing and soon, that boy, that boy with the curse, the gift, and the secret. But now he had what his heart desired, just because his heart was big. And that was the end of the story I had for you today. But In those woods, the elves started a new song. And that song says, January and February, January and February, January and February and March. Thank you so much for listening. If you go to that woods, sing along. Mm -hmm.